Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's go on today's video session. Here we go. How to this? So we are going to be talking about all the old games and the remakes. What the heck's going on there? Sonic's a big part to this. What's the reason? Dead egg! Sonic or Knuckles! Remember this? On the Sega Mega Drive, Danny went flying onto a Nintendo GameCube. But the game was Sonic Mega Collection on Nintendo GameCube. Okay, so rock and roll music for you there. So, welcome back on my video session today. And today, we are going to be talking about the titles that keep on releasing over and over again. What this what this is about? Should they be doing these kind of things? Because I think lots of people are kind of puzzled because they keep on reading again and again. But why? The one thing that really really hits me is that they should not be releasing these kind of games. To be honest, some customers out there. Never played this game. Okay, I agree with I agree with all, the, all that. But that's not the point here, is it? Is it really? The whole point point is that it's all spoiled. They're spoiling everything. What they're doing? How does that actually work? And how does he actually spoil it? That's a big thing about it. Because I think a lot of people don't understand, or they never know that these were on previous systems that we had before. A lot of people don't know that. Right. So what kind of games are we looking at? Right. Okay. One of the one of the biggest emphasize is Sonic Team. Why is this company doing loads of remakes? Why they keep on doing this? Because I'm I'm really puzzled with this company, what they are doing. They keep on saying things like they're gonna release games like now let's look at the Nintendo GameCube for instance. Because I think there's something going on there really badly. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Why did I mention that title to you? They're releasing that again. But why? Why are you releasing that again and again? We've had that so many times. I mean, Sonic Adventure was on Sega Dreamcast before, and then he went flying all over to a Sonic DX Director's Cut on. Nintendo GameCube, which was a lot better game than the Sega Dreamcast one, anyway. I am very, very puzzled what this company is doing. I don't think there's any need of releasing Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. We don't need that title at all. Why are they releasing that? It's not only that, they're going to release Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sonic Heroes Shadow the Hedgehog That is war games from Nintendo GameCube What 
What is going on, man? Why are they doing this? Now, when we look at these four games I mentioned from Nintendo GameCube, they were exclusive games and unique to the system. But if you go and release these on a different system, then it doesn't be faithful to the system anymore, does it? That's the things they don't think. All they're just thinking about releasing these as remakes with better graphics, changing a bit of gameplay, and, and doing a bit of business and making some more money. You know, Sonic Team, get yourself something straight. That's not the way to do business, okay? You're doing really stupid things. I even heard that it doesn't just end there. It doesn't end there, you know. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Sonic and the Black Knight. Sonic Colors. From Nintendo Wii. Now, Sonic Colors is, has been already been released on Nintendo Switch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on there? How many more do you want to release, man? They're releasing too many of them. Far too many. They need to stop this right now. What about Nintendo Wii U? What are they doing from there? Sonic Mania, no, no, that won't be comic. Sonic Lost World, never heard of that one. Sonic Boom, no. Sonic Forces, they were talking about that as well. <laughs> They're thinking of raising Sonic Forces as well. They're talking about that a bit. I don't know how far Sonic Forces can go as a remake. But they're thinking of raising that as well. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Sonic Mania. Sonic Forces. Sonic Colors. They already released one remake. Sonic Colors. It's already on the Nintendo Switch. Can you see that? That was from Nintendo Wii. That game was. Nice on Nintendo Switch that game is. They are spoiling everything from the original systems, man. Now, all of these games, right, they were faithful to the original systems, yeah? When we look at Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo GameCube had by far the best Sonic Team games ever developed. Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Switch are are worse games. Then I've got games. They went worse and worse. I they went down the list. Now if we look at Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Generations. That were all, that is on the Sony PlayStation 3, these games are now. Now Sonic the Hedgehog originally was a dreadful game. On the Sony PlayStation 3. It's absolutely terrible. Why are they releasing Sonic the Hedgehog? It's got a bad story. It's got dreadful gameplay. It's got poor bosses. What kind of daft game is, is that? So what they plan to do now with Sonic the Hedgehog? They're putting stuff from Sonic Adventure. I think DX. And Sonic Heroes. They're using all levels in the Sonic the Hedgehog to make it exciting. Please stop this, Sonic Team. Stop this right now. We don't need all this rubbish. This is getting really, really over the top now. Sonic Generation. Sonic Generation was a dramatically a good game on the PC. It was really good on the PC. You don't need any remakes on that. They're being, they're being really stupid. They're being really, really ridiculous. What they're doing. Obviously, the Sonic the Hedgehog, they're putting like different 
gameplay and different games out in there, remixing the game. That can be a bit worth it. Sonic Generations. <laughs> As a remake with better graphics, would stand out, I suppose. This looks really, really good. Now, Nintendo GameCube is a big game for size. Not for me. For what Nintendo's doing. Nintendo GameCube games are flying to Nintendo Switch. F-Zero GX from Nintendo GameCube. That is coming on Nintendo Switch. Why? Why are you releasing that? That is the biggest racing game on Nintendo GameCube. Why are you putting that on that system? This is a unique game for the Nintendo GameCube. You Now Nintendo is spoiling everything as well. Why would Nintendo re release that on another platform? Why would they do something stupid like that? I don't know what the heck this company is doing, man. This is getting really ridiculous. They didn't... Do you know what they done on that? Super Mario Collection. You know what was in Super Mario Collection? Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. Now, all of these games are unique to each Nintendo system. Super Mario 64 is really, really old. Yeah? It's a very old game now. It looks really out of date. I don't think many people would like to play that anymore. Well, I certainly wouldn't. Not as a collection, anyway. Super Mario Sunshine is, is the best one in the collection. Mm, yeah, it's always the best one. Then you got Super Mario Galaxy. Mm, I'm not a big fan of all this stuff, from platform to galaxy stuff. It's not my kind of cup of tea, really, that much. What Super Mario Galaxy was doing. Super Mario Sunshine is the best game. Now, Super Mario Sunshine was on the Nintendo GameCube, yeah? Let's get all these facts right. Super Mario 64 was on the N64. Super Mario Sunshine was on Nintendo GameCube. Super Mario Galaxy was on the Nintendo Wii. He took each one of the Mario games and put it in one collection. I don't want to be funny or something. You have to leave these games on the original system. Original system. You do not put these games on your latest system, yeah? And release them as remakes. You don't do things like that. How many more times are you going to keep on doing that? Then, there are some other games as well. Star Wars Rogue Leader, Star Wars Rebel Strike 3. What is Factor 5 doing? What are they doing? Why are they releasing that on the Nintendo Switch? This game engine just suits the Nintendo GameCube. I can see why they're releasing that. Because... Star Wars Rogue Elite and Star Wars Rebel Strike 3 are one of the finest Star Wars games ever developed. And now the companies decided to release them as remake on Nintendo Switch to make more money. Ooh, I can't take this anymore. Releasing remakes is wrong. Don't release them. Because these games originally were made for them systems and they were exclusives to them systems yeah the exclusive games to them systems they are spoiling everything releasing these exclusive games from the previous games consoles to these latest systems you can't do things like that man. you should not be doing anything like that which you're supposed not be doing so let's just after this. Look, <laughs> look, that's what it is. Sonic and Knuckles, yeah, guys. 
Hello, the 80s game of them all. I can talk a bit like that, so I can knock us a lot for you. The music we'll be playing is from Death Tech, from Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, Sonic Mega Collection was on the Nintendo GameCube. Sonic Team hasn't done much of remakes of these kind of games, have they really? But they were on the Nintendo GameCube. Yeah, As Sonic Mega Collection on Nintendo GameCube. Which he appeared on it and it was really, really good. Running. If they're looking to do these games again, don't bother. Because they're not gonna sell. You can't keep on releasing your popular games again and again because people won't buy them. Because they already played them so many times. So do not release these old Sonic games, especially from Sega Mega Drive. You can't keep on releasing them. Otherwise, people will ditch your games. Okay. So be careful about that. Now, I do say that Nintendo didn't do much of remakes. Yeah? I mean, the only remake I can just think of is F-Zero GX and Super Mario Sunshine in the Super Mario Collection, which was a Nintendo Switch. Yeah? These are the only ones they actually did. I don't think Nintendo's too much into these remake kind of thing, really. Which is really, really good for the company. Because, like, we had other platformers on the Nintendo game, like Luigi Mansion, Wario World, Paper Mario. They had all these kind of games on there, yeah? And they didn't do any remakes on these games. Who are, are well done on that? They kept them unique to the system, which is really good because um, Nintendo GameCube owns the best Nintendo game exclusives on any system. Yeah, on any system. I'll tell you that right now. You're not going to find anything like the Nintendo GameCube even on the forthcoming Nintendo systems you have played on. Yeah. I know I've been talking about this quite a lot of times now. Maybe I'm repeating myself over and over again. The reason we're doing this, you need to understand that Nintendo GameCube is the real system for Nintendo game exclusives. Yeah. Let's quickly rerun for the Nintendo exclusives, which are massive on the Nintendo GameCube. I'm not going to tell you which ones didn't come on there. Oh, I think hardly any of these came on there anyway. But they probably just came as sequels or, you know, different versions of these games, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay. Sumari Sunshine. Luigi Mansion. Wario World. Paper Mario. Okay, you got all them names on there? Okay. Donkey Kong Jungle Pit. As I told you, the best Donkey Kong game you'll ever play with the bongos, yeah? You can't beat that. You got all of these exclusive games on your Nintendo Game Gear. Absolutely incredible. Then you got Sonic Adventure DX Structor Squad, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gem, Sonic Gems Collection. Okay. And then you, other games you've got is 1080 Avalanche, F Zero GX, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Extreme G3 uh, Wave Race Blue Storm. Look at all of these exclusive games now. Absolutely incredible. Really good. Metroid Prime. Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Okay, you got that. 
So these are pretty exclusive games on the system. Some of them are mixed, like from third parties, it doesn't matter. So, um, there's quite a lot of games on this system, right? which are very exclusive to the system, yeah? Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Mega Solid. Absolutely incredible games from third party. Okay, here we go. Bleach, Blur, Bloody Raw Extreme, Capcom vs. SK2 EO, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Naruto Ninja Tyson 3, Naruto Ninja Tyson 4, Smash Bros. DX or Super Smash Bros. what you want to call it, Soul Calibur 2. Look at these amazing games, man. Yeah, one of them racing I missed out was R Racing Evolution, by the way. Uh, another racing game can be Super Monkey Ball and Super Monkey Ball 2. That's a racing game still. Uh, they're using monkeys in that game, by the way. A lot, a lot of unique stuff. There were some more Sega games. Sega Soccer Slam, Virtual Striker 3. There's so many unique tiles on this system, man. Every single, ever, most majority of these games should have appeared again. But they didn't come again. Why? Because these are the most important games in the gaming industry. If we look at the gaming list of Nintendo GameCube, it's by far the greatest gaming you'll ever play. No joke. It must be one of the greatest games console on the planet because it owns one of the most amazing games you ever play. I mean, so this makes a attempt to you to buy Panasonic Q games console as well. That's another great piece of hardware which is released by Panasonic and Nintendo. Uh, yeah, a two companies in one system. One of the greatest games console on planet history. Um, Panasonic Q games console and Nintendo GameCube owning one of the most Amazing game exclusives I have ever seen and played. Mm. This is one thing that you guys need to understand. Now, going back to them games, when you have game exclusives on the original systems, you have to leave them on that. The reason for that, it makes your proud owner that you own that game on that system yeah because most majority especially platformers uh, racing foreign games they all on the Nintendo GameCube he owns one of the best you can't beat the system in any way don't we try to, but you won't able to. Any system which has its own game, which is unique to the system, you leave it on that. If you don't do that, you're spoiling the game exclusives on the systems. You're doing that. You're spoiling everything. Because to be honest, these games, they need to stay on them. You do not, you do not release them again as remakes. They need to stay on the original systems. A lot of people are not going to buy them. I'll be honest with you. Number one, they're old. Number two, they've already been played. There were massive game exclusives especially even I'll be mentioned to your games that some of these Nintendo GameCube games which are common as remakes they should be faithful 
to that console. If you start releasing game exclusives from Nintendo GameCube on other platforms, you're spoiling the original games on the Nintendo GameCube. So that's why it's wrong to release these games. You're not gonna be proud owner of them games anymore, are ya? If they start doing they start scattering them on all the other platforms. I think they should stop it. I think these remakes need to stop right now. They need to stop them and not release them on any platform. We don't we don't need game exclusive on special Nintendo GameCube to be on other platforms. We don't want that. Especially what Nintendo's doing. I was a bit disappointed with Nintendo as well. Nintendo's releasing his game exclusives on Nintendo GameCube on the Nintendo Switch. Don't do that man. You're spoiling it. But Nintendo's good. Because he hasn't done that much. Other companies are taking part in it. They need to stop all that rubbish. Because I think it's not right. Now I'll leave the rest to you guys. While you guys think about these remakes. Because if you already own the original games consoles and you got them game exclusive on them, wouldn't you be disappointed that they're releasing these games again on other platforms? Because you, you already own them. I mean, you're not going to go go out there and buy them again, are you? Because just they are in like HD versions. You're not going to see much difference in these HD versions, man. Because you know most majority of games they're producing. I've seen them, they look just look the same. They're just gonna look sharper and just more flashier, that's it. With some games, they were trying to make them better. Well, you know what? Most majority of these games, there's gonna be no improvements. You're just, you're gonna just waste your money buying these games. These developers are crazy. They're more than that, they're stupid. Because you should be releasing new games, not old games. You should not be releasing them anyway. I do a Agree with loads of people, they are big classics. I mean, there's loads of big classics on Nintendo GameCube. Well, that doesn't mean you go and, go and, go and release them on other platforms, do you? You don't go and do that. Because loads of people still own the Nintendo GameCube. Some people even got the Panasonic Q games console. You think they're gonna go out there and buy them again? Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> I think it's quite stupid. If Nintendo GameCube owns the best game exclusive from any games console why do we need them um, remakes on them games anyway we don't need them really we're not we're not crazy that we're gonna go out there and just go and buy them so think about this very carefully what these companies are doing i'm very happy to give you this kind of information because it's important to share this with you guys what these companies are doing i think it should be stopped right now what they're doing and I really, really say that the uh, special Nintendo game exclusives should only stay on the Nintendo GameCube and these games should not appear on other platforms. Because the original games are always the best. If you make them as remakes, they tend to be either disappointing or just be the same. Yeah, so there's no point doing that. It's just a waste of time and you're just wasting your money on them really. Because I remember when they released Sonic Colors on Nintendo Switch, the game's crap. If you guys play that, the game's crap, man. Because that originally Sonic Colors on Nintendo Wii wasn't even even a good game. They're just releasing some crappy remakes as well. I mean, Sonic Colors is just average, really. I mean, I mean, there's no point in releasing that, any. To be honest, I don't know why Sonic Team planned to release that. And they're going to release on Nintendo Switch. It just looked the bloody same. And that is not a very good game. I'll be honest with you. It's not very good. And Sonic Team is being funny with us. Releasing Sonic Colors on other platforms. Not many people like that game. Anymore. So understand this. Some of these developers are just trying to release some of these games which aren't even good and they're trying to give to the customers hmm it's pretty stupid i mean 
escapes like f0 gx and we're using swim and shun as well <laughs> it's bloody wrong you should not be releasing that and then stars rookie leader stars level strike 3 what the heck why would you release something like that man they're not gonna be good now have you noticed the F0GX, Star Wars Rogue Leader and Star Wars Rogue Strike 3 is gone quiet? Do you know why? Because they must be disappointing. Yeah, they must be really disappointing. And that's why now there's no news on them games. Look what happened to them. Why are you doing these stupid things anyway? Oh wow, because I suppose F0GX is the most amazing graphical in graphics. It's the fastest game and it's the most amazing racing game on the planet. I understand that. But but releasing that on another platform, it's not gonna work. So anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying today. Give me a likes, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.